about Paradesi Synagogue at Kochi Kerala please like, share and subscribe our channel. The Paradisi Synagogue was built in 1568 by Samuel Castiel, David Belila, and Joseph Levi for the flourishing Jewish community in Kochi composed mainly of Malabari Jews and the refugees from the Portuguese religious persecution of Jews locally from Cranganor and farther afield originating from Spain and Portugal. 1. It is the oldest active 2. Synagogue in the Commonwealth of Nations. 3. Located in Kochi, Kerala, in South of India. The first synagogue in India was built in the 4th century in Kodungalar Kranganur, when the Jews had a mercantile role in the South Indian region now called Kerala along the Malabar coast. When the community moved to Kochi in the 14th century, it built a new synagogue there. It is one of seven synagogues of the Malabar Yehudin or Yehudin Mithila people or Cochin Jewish community in the Kingdom of Cochin. Paradisi is a word used in several Indian languages, and the literal meaning of the term is foreigners, applied to this synagogue because it was built by Sephardic or Portuguese-speaking Jews, some of them from families exiled in Aleppo, Safed and other West Asian localities. It is also referred to as the Cochin Jewish Synagogue or the Matan Sheri Synagogue. The synagogue is located in the quarter of Old Cochin known as Jew Town 3 and is the only one of the seven synagogues in the area still in use. The complex has four buildings. It was built adjacent to the Matan Sheri Palace Temple on the land given to the Malabar Yehudin or Yehudin Mapilla community by the Raja of Kochi, Rama Varma. The Matan Sheri Palace Temple and the Matan Sheri Synagogue share a common wall. Present as is customary for Orthodox Jewish or Yehudin Mithila synagogues, the Paradisi synagogue has separate seating sections for men and women. Today the Paradisi synagogue is the only functioning synagogue in Kochi with a minyan, though this minyan must be formed with Jews from outside Kochi, as the number who still reside there is not sufficient. In conformity with the Hindu, St. Thomas Christian or Syrian Mapilla and Muslim Mapilla traditions of Kerala, the worshippers are required to enter the Paradisi Synagogue barefoot, five other facets which are unique to the coach and Jewish community, and which are results of Hindu influence, include special colors of clothing for each festival, circumcision ceremonies performed at public worship, and distribution of grape-soaked myrtle leaves on certain festivals. In addition, the current rabbi at the Paradisi Synagogue placed by Midrash Sephardi is Rabbi Yonatan Francis Goldschmidt. The synagogue is open for a fee to visitors as a historic attraction. The ticket seller, Yaha Halagua, is the last female Paradisi Jew of child-bearing age. 6. The synagogue is closed on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays and also on Jewish holidays. As of April 2016, only five Jews live in Fort Kochi, citation needed. Timing to visit the Matt and Harry Synagogue is from 5 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. and then it again opens from 5 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. There is a strict dress code for both men and women. Men have to wear full shirts and trousers and women have to wear skirts below knee length. Objects of Antiquity The Paradisi Synagogue has the Scrolls of Law, several gold crowns received as gifts, many Belgian glass chandeliers, and a brass-railed pulpit. It houses the 10th-century copper plates of privileges given to Joseph Rabin, the earliest known coach and Jew. These two plates were inscribed in Old Malayalam by the ruler of the Malabar Coast. The floor of the synagogue is composed of hundreds of Chinese 18th-century hand-painted porcelain tiles, each of which is unique.
A hand knotted oriental rug was a gift from Haile Selassie, the last Ethiopian emperor. 7. The synagogue has an 18th century clock tower, which, along with other parts of the complex, was restored between 1998 and 1999 under the direction of the World Monuments Fund. 8. Hebrew inscription at the Matan Sherry Synagogue. A tablet from the 1344 synagogue in Kuchangadi in Kochi was installed on the outer wall of the Paradisi Synagogue. The inscription states that the structure was built in 5105 in the Hebrew calendar as an abode for the Spirit of God. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe.